Hello, welcome back to Moonstone Crafts and welcome to like I think the third installation by now of my whip parade, my monthly whip parade. In this video I mostly show you all my diamond painting whips. Uh, I wanted to show you more whips uh, of me drawing, um, cross stitching and stuff like that. Uh, like all my crafts but last month uh, or like the last month uh, I didn't have much time uh, you can find out why in my latest whip and chat I will link that up as well um, and I, all the time that I had to craft um, went to my diamond painting so uh, this whip parade will be shorter than most whip parades were for now because they're just be the diamond paintings so if you're here for the cross stitch or the drawings i'm sorry i didn't make any progress on any of those i will get back into them i surely will especially now that it's more coming towards summer mostly i will get back into cross stitch a lot more during the summer times and drawing sometimes too it depends i'm just not that much into drawing anymore i like you know that i can do it but it's not my preferenced preferenced uh craft at the moment so i'm gonna make this not too long because it's also freaking hot here in the netherlands it's the first of june today that i'm filming this you will see this on the second of june it will even be more hot so and because my uh my room where I'm filming these videos is in the attic. All the warmth is staying here and I, you know, I can't do anything about it. So let's get the first whip. So I think I have around five whips at the moment, which is a lot, I know. First off, you might recognize this um, beauty. I'll put the plastic up for a bit. Um, this is uh, Horses Redborn. I I'll always forget how to say it. Uh, so I'm happy it's on the, the little thing here. Um, I've just made a little bit of progress because I've put this bit, this one on hold for a bit. Uh, because in May I had two main canvases. But I did actually take this one with me on a little vacation to the campground. Because I wanted just to have a have a break from the other two uh, bigger canvases that I did so I actually made around I think like from the head of the bird here I don't know if you can see it on cam but somewhere over there like there somewhere is the line of what I did so one stroke uh, since the last time you've seen it in the whip parade actually this bottom part here I did on another whip and chat uh, I will see if I can find that as well to link. Um, so it's going steady and slowly. If I feel like um, taking a break from my other main kits, my main diamond painting kits at the moment, I will definitely do this one because I really would just work non-stop on this if I didn't have the other two. Because this is definitely one of my favorites of all time. I don't know why just love the quality of diamonds, I just love the colors in this one and it's just so pretty. I love all the reds in here as well and the barn door. Um, and I didn't actually think that I would like this one as much as I do. Um, but yeah, I do. Um, just gonna roll it straight back up so I can make some place for my next one. Uh, my next one is actually uh, these birds uh, I told you about my about this painting in my last whip parade uh, I didn't make any progress on this I haven't worked on this since the last whip parade so if you want to know all about this one please go check out my last whip parade where I talk about why this is kind of a bit on hold and why I'm not actually really working on this one um, I will tell you more in that wood parade and it's easier for me to not all explain it again for people that actually watched it. Um, next up 
is another older kit. I've started a while ago, but I'm not actively working on a lot. Um, as you can see, last time that I filmed this, I was here. Now, I just did this small part extra. Let me actually lift this plastic up. I did a small part extra here, but it's the smallest amount of progress on this one. It's not really my main focus at the moment, but what is interesting is that this is from Treasure Studios Arts and it's a round painting and it's the smaller rounds that actually look like they're squares because they're so tied together. And I just made another order with Treasure Studios Art and I think last night I got an email that they're switching around their rounds. They're not going to be the small rounds anymore, they're going to be the normal sized rounds. Which I think is a shame because I really like the effect of these rounds. And I actually ordered a round painting in a smaller size because I thought, well, they're the smaller round drills. So it will be interesting to see how that turns out. Um, so I'm happy I at least have one of their kits with the smaller rounds. So, you know, I, I have that uh, and I'm not missing out. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's some news about this one, but yeah, as I said, progress is slow. I'm focusing on the other projects more right now and not so much this one. That's what's going on there. Um, next up is the biggie. The biggest one. I don't know if I can get it all in the shot. I don't think so. So we'll just move it to the part where I actually worked on. Uh, which is this part. Uh, it's so hard to get in shot. It's so big. Uh, let's move it a little bit down. Something like that. It's like that. Let's lift this up. Uh, as you can see, some progress on this kit. But as you can see as well, it's huge. Uh, I started at the bottom because I didn't know where to start with this kit at all. So this is the one that I uh, started in May for the Going Jaywall event. I know, I think it's only supposed to be for May, but I'm definitely gonna, of course, continue. And hopefully around my birthday, I'm a lot farther away, uh, like farther into the kit. I'm not sure if, gonna, if I'm ever gonna finish it before my birthday with so many whips. If it was my sole focus, it might, but uh, yeah. For now it isn't but i really like the details on this one it's fun to work on there is definitely some confetti going on so yeah uh, it takes some time um but i think the the coolest part is still coming like the the little uh, moon part and sky and stuff and the big mermaid so yeah um that's how far I got with this kit in a month while also working on, well, actually actively working on two other kits. Like the Horses Red Barn that I just showed you, where I did actually complete a whole row. Um, and I think this one is quite, uh, how do you call it, wide as well, so like 70 centimeters. So I at least completed one, the bottom row strip. Of 70 centimeters uh, and I couldn't get uh, another row done yet but I'm like halfway so I think for one month with me single placing everything because that's also a thing I single place my squares uh, not because I can't uh, multiplace with squares I tried multiple times I just don't like uh, like it I I, I like uh, single placing with um, checkerboarding the most so that's also why it takes a lot more time than I think somebody would would, would just um, how do you call it multi-place um, so yeah big kit still going strong we'll see how where we are next month um, because normally my ripper rate I will also do like a, what I'm gonna do next month and I show you some new canvases that I want to complete. Well, n I'm not going to start any new conf n newer canvases anymore because I mean, 
I have so many starts already, I want to finish something first. Um, and they're all so big that, yeah, it's gonna take some time. So that's why I also just tell you I'm gonna work on this more. And also the other one that I'm gonna show you after did, and of course Horses Red Barn. Those are the three, the three focus bits. And if I want to work on some rounds, I can of course work on Star Unicorn from Trash Studios Arts with the smaller rounds. Or even if I want normal regular rounds, I can do the the bird one, um, which I haven't worked on in a long time. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, this is just uh, this one. Get it out of the way, and we'll show you the other one. This is, of course, Piano Dream, if it wants to lay open. Um, and as you can see, I think I even made less progress on this uh, compared to the big one that I just showed you, because, yeah, I think I laid down more drills there, but I at least did two strokes on here, like first like that and then the second row um, it's been fun there's a lot of nice colors but it's hard to uh, separate the time that I get to diamond paint which isn't a lot especially last month uh, and you know get your focus on two pieces at the same time it's like picking out which one you want to work on um, this one I can actually work on during uh, on the couch with if in, uh, in front of the TV, so that's really nice for this one. The other one I can only work on the dinner table on my... Uh, how do you call it? Like my uh, table that goes up. How do you call something like that? <laughs> can't remember, but whatever. Uh, what I really like in this one, I added a lot more... Like two more ABs. There's already three ABs from it in it itself. And I added like two more... ABs and you can really already I don't know if you guys can see but you can already see the effects of the ABs in person uh, right now the, the light lighting isn't the best for you guys to see but I also put in some 819 square ABs and some uh, white ABs on the 3865 uh, ones so there's so much sparkle in this one and it really is so pretty. Uh, so I can't wait to see when I get to the girl, you know. Um, and go uh, around the halfway point. I hope to reach that at least uh, in the next month. But maybe I can even come further. It depends how I distribute my time. <laughs> like I said before, it's hard to distribute your time between two kits at least and then even a third one like Horses Red Barn which I really love so I really want to work on that as well it's hard let me tell you that <laughs> but at least for this video it's good that I have so many whips because otherwise it would be such a short video <laughs> um, but it was this canvas was also started last month uh, in the month of May for DP with lupus uh, I'm definitely gonna still use that hashtag still gonna keep going with it uh, it's still important. Uh, I, even though I know this event was only for the month of May, I think, why not? Just keep going, because I haven't finished it yet. Um, but I do think it was a bit underwhelming of how much progress I got on this one. I wish, wished I could have done more. But again, I only single placed. There's some ABs in there. Um, and I didn't have much time to diamond paint at all last month. So, I should give myself a break. <laughs> Just me looking at it now, I'm like, oh, could have done more maybe, but also I had two big, bigger kits going on as well. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, it's getting way too hot in here. I need to drink some more water. So uh, with this image, I'm gonna leave you guys. I'm sorry, as I said before, I don't have any progress uh, on the cross stitch or the drawing this time. Hopefully next time. We'll see. It de all depends on where my time goes to. My free time. When I have it. So, you know. Busy life. Busy life. But I'm happy I have a busy life. Because that brings all the money in to buy these damn paintings. <laughs> um, 
So, I hope I can see you guys soon again. I'm off to see if I can do some more diamond painting. Hopefully outside, now that the weather is still fine. It's still light enough for me to diamond paint. And it's way too hot to be in this room. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I want to thank you all for watching. Please let me know what you think about the progress I made. Or especially these last two kits that you saw. Uh, you know, the progress of what I did in one month. Let me know which one of the five whips that I have is your favorite. And I will see you the next time. Bye!